finally getting to do a, a final review or, or yeah phase two of the the Hawkeye Fish Tracks 1C, I believe is what it is. I uh, was on the water yesterday in a place that didn't really show anything. See, there's fish right there showing up. We're in 10 foot of water. Sorry for the shakiness. Uh, water degrees is 84.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, got a fish floating around there about six foot. Uh, it's way more encouraging. Yesterday was, was not a good day of fishing. We were on a sandy bottom river with uh, no vegetation, no nothing to hold the fish. So it only marked a couple of fish, but it wasn't worth a good video anyway. Uh, really liking this thing already. Uh, it, it does not have GPS or anything like that, no maps or anything like that. So you gotta use your phone or whatever else you wanna use. But I uh, got the uh, transducer just floating in the water. Uh, that's a float. The transducer is about six inches or so below that. Uh, it's a beautiful day today. It's about 7.45 in the morning on Lake McCannon in Tau, Texas. Uh, we're at the Colorado River Inlet, just about for the river, for the lake. And uh, yeah, this, this is pretty good. Here comes another fish across there. See, it, it, it's basics, uh, it's color. Uh, it, it tells you the size of the fish. You can set it to where it shows, you know, either large fish or medium fish or all, which is large, medium, and small. One just jumped right there in front of me. I should be fishing instead of doing this, but hey, uh, it's, a, it's something that, that you might want to consider. Like I say, it's, it's, I'm going to do a transit mount to put it on my, my Scotty track and get it in the water and where it's more stable. As, as in a kayak, as we're going along with the, the transducer, you know, shows the back of us as we're going. But uh, yeah, out here with my son hanging out. Trying to catch a few fish on beautiful Lake Buchanan using the Hawkeye Fish Tracks 1C Fish Finder. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, thumbs up. <laughs>
comments. I'll take all comments. And uh, thumbs up, but there it's about six, eight inches below the bottom of the kayak. So uh, that's kind of why I made it on a swivel like that. Anyway, thank you very much.